Cut off, I go in with my gold comb and I'm just basically combing all of the hair with the grain, lifting the hair, prepping the hair to cut it down to one desired lift. I will be cutting my client hair today with a number two guard with the grain and then I'm going to give him a taper on the sides and the back and we're going to get it real clean. This is probably one of my most favorite haircuts I done did up to date. So if you could just stick through this 15 minute video with me, please like, share, subscribe. I promise you're going to be so proud with the ending result. I definitely was in that bag for this one. So y'all know what time it is. Let's focus up. Let's lock in. Yeah, yeah, all of that. So I'm going with a number two, and I'm just basically cutting everything down, getting that one desired length, because my crown on this client today will be cut with a three. So I just want to get everything besides the crown cut down to a two. As you guys can see the waves is just popping out they there he just got tremendous progress and you can tell he take care of his hair and it's gonna be a goodie man so just stick through this one it's gonna get crazy then i go in with a number three guard with the grain but i start off with my brush prepping the crown so i could cut it down to one desired length And then I go in with my Babeless FX's and I just create my first ball line, maybe a half inch from the bottom of the neck because I will be doing a tad bit of down fading, mixing with uh, fading upwards. So I go completely open, at least an inch with my Andes Masters, completely open, create my first guideline and my first panel. Then I go in with a 316th guard, completely open, and then I just start to debulk this area. Due to me doing my taper like this, I create so much more of a safe haven for myself and I create a safer route because if you debulk opposed to pushing the taper from the bottom to the top, you kind of preserve bulk and you it's more of a safe route for your tapers. So if you just keep everything consistent, try debulking with some of your clients first. So I debulked with them a 316th, then I went into a 1 8th guard right now. And as you see, everything is just slowly but surely blending, but I'm blending down so it's soft blended and I'm just gonna feather it all together and that's just one thing that I enjoyed about this video it's like I changed my whole route of fading just for a more safer and cleaner route like I was so much more confident taking this route all because I preserved so much bulk so to those out there like you don't have to always start your taper from the bottom to the top you could definitely start from top to bottom and uh, preserve the bulk and it'll help you create a better transition in your taper Keeping everything consistent, brushing one and fade one and flicking out, using the corner of that blade. Y'all remember, you got to stay consistent throughout everything that you do in these haircuts. That's the best part about it is that we train for this. Like every shot that we ever put up in a shop was ultimately for moments like this. Like whenever you can change your route, it just show how much more unorthodox you are and how much more creative you are. So I go completely close and this is when I start to fade from bottom to top and I'm gonna slowly but surely work my way into this fade and I'm halfway open on my masters now. And as you guys can see, I'm creating some gradiency in this fade and everything is starting to come together. And now I'm completely open using some of my blade will use a majority of just the corners. Remember to adjust your lever throughout your fade because sometimes it won't just be it. Sometimes the hairs could appear still darker than usual. So just always flick out, stay consistent. Like blending is a process, like don't rush it. And everything will like come together. Then I got a 116 phone and I'm just gonna bring it all the way together with this one. It's my favorite guard. Y'all remember the Andes Black Guards with the single clips on them? These are the original master guards. Like these are not the premium navy blue ones that they reinvented. These are the originals, the OGs, my favorite guard set 
Like, these are the diggers right here, man. And I just appreciate this guard so much. And I appreciate this clipper so much. Like, I've always been a Masters fan. And I will always be one. Just because I love the fade that it gives off. Like, I love the blade. And I really think that's the difference between these and walls is that blade. So, I just love how these things run, man. As you guys can see, I got that tape it up. So we just go in with the side taper with our FX is creating our first ball line. Then I go in completely open with my Andis Master slowly but surely digging into some of the waves. All because his waves drop so low towards the taper, you kind of got to sacrifice certain parts of the waves and lift certain parts of the hair and flick out just so you can create your transition. Just without going too high and damaging too many waves because that's the thing about these wavers. They don't want you to damage the waves or the wave pattern but due to my client and me and him consulting like we both know in order to make this tape of the taper that i'm trying to give off you got to sacrifice some part of this wave and that's just a part of the game you got to adjust to it like it's gonna come out fire so to all my wavers out there just like buckle down like focus up and lock in with me it's impossible for me to let y'all down when like i'm considered one of the goats for this i got y'all all my wavers Focus up. Hashtag TBT in the comment section. Glacier Gang. We finna really go there. So I'm just going in with my 116th guard and I'm just slowly but surely nodding at this side. Because I kind of started off dead half of this taper without recording it. I just had to pick up where I left off with the guard. But you just basically repeat your same steps. You will ball out, you will open up, and then you will fade that ball and open line, and then you will put your 116th guard on and adjust due to the wave pattern and how low his waves come in his taper. Using the corner of your blade, staying consistent, brushing one and fade one, and making sure that you successfully blend any line or any bulk out. And just remember, remain consistent. Always brush one and fade one. You need to knock all of the hairs out the way that are in the way, appearing to be fade lines or whatever. You need to be able to see the hair for whatever it truly is at all times. That I'm just doing with the grain at times as well to debulk. So I go in with my gold FXs and I'm just hitting the slants of the back of the neckline. And then once I get to the top of the ear, I completely go into using the tip of my blade to round out that part. So I'm gonna repeat the same steps on the right side as well. Knocking my slant out. Slowly but surely working my way up the neckline and once I get to the top of the ear I will shift to the corner of my blade and work my way around the corner Girl, you know what to do to a man As you guys can see we just slowly but surely scoping it now it's just time to focus up so I go in with my gold babeless FX's I plant in the middle first and then I just slowly but surely work my way to the left side of the client's head due to my client being lighter in the front of the lineup you can't really go too far back in the corners because you will destroy his line and then really mess up the cut so that's not what we focused on we focused on slowly but surely working our way around this line and we setting ourselves up we're creating reference points like i was going to start the curve but then i seen something else and then i just wanted to go into another part of the lineup like i'm setting myself up for the kill shot so sometimes you might have to you know reroute that gps got to reroute at times and you know that's just a part of the game like you know you take that then I just start on this side with my corner, going right in, using the tip of my blade, creating the Chicago C. I'm just working my way around the corner. And then I just repeat the same steps over here. Then I go in with the Beam Team Coilless Compressor XL, using the color No Drip, using my boy Sean Cut's hair enhancement card. Like, I'm just able to spray inside of my boundaries and just disperse 
color so much more precisely and so much more consistently due to me using the right angle with a car and using the curve i'm able to stay inside my boundary and just disperse color so much more efficient so shout out to my boy sean cuts here if you want to buy this car visit his ig at sean cuts here and the link will be in his bio for you to buy or purchase one of these enhancement cards then I just hit the neckline as well, just because we want to give it so much more flair and pop. To those out there who want to like improve their pitches, let me show y'all like a little trick. So I just hit the back of the neckline with some enhancements as well. Then I go over the top using my Andis mask. It's completely closed, floating over the waves, getting the hair truly down to that one desired length, knocking all of the straggly hairs off. And I'm really solidifying the haircut, making it that gentleman distinguished look like he the hell. Look at it. Like it's in the game already. Like we ain't even finished. I ain't put no rays on nothing any there. So I go in using my barber magic pencil, treating it like how women would treat their eyebrows, just concealing my line up and I'm adding some contrast just because you guys know that I take pictures and I use this for my pictures to give my pictures more flair and more pop. So to those out there, that's just a trick to promote yourself when you out there posting your pictures and uh you buying promotion to get it solved by other people that's just in your radius. It's just a trick to really up your pictures and your portfolio like every little bit of anything you do in a barber game could be used as a jewel or a nugget to help somebody else you know do something so much more greater like so many people are so dope at barber and there's so much talent out there but people lack self-promotion and people don't know how to get themselves out there and advertising so you know this is just one of them things to those out there you up your pitches people get to seeing them and you paying for your promotion or you just regularly promote yourself and getting out there people will respect your work because it's it looks 10 times better as you guys can see i got my boy so icy he in the game this cut so clean y'all know what time it is hashtag tbt in that comment section glacier gang it's like that and just touching up the bottom of the taper making sure that everything is intact then I go in with my Tune 45 using my triple cartridge razor using the super exposed cartridge just because I have so much more control with my blade and I can see exactly what I'm hitting. I love the super exposed blade but you gotta be careful just because you can nick people with this so i don't promote this for everybody like if you're a beginning barber but if you're pretty advanced and comfortable with the razor try using super exposed and just watch how much more control you have over your lineups as you guys can see he in the game my boy icy and this is just a beautiful 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 masterpiece and i just really enjoyed this haircut so if you out there and you watching these videos man please like share subscribe comment yeah all of that hit that notification bell look at that taper sheesh y'all know what's up man hashtag tbt in that comment section it's like that 2019 this year the creators we in that bag client checking it out like at this point like we both know what's up and at this point if you guys are watching the video and y'all checking it out i will hope y'all know what's up like we in the game man say less the wave gods have blessed us again with another beautiful haircut as you guys can see my man was struggling before but he in the game now man ice trader gang y'all know what time it is hashtag tbt in that comment section hashtag glacier gang we locked in we focus all my waivers out there i told y'all i had y'all my boy is in the game this is that tyreek st patrick haircut y'all know what time it is hashtag tbt strap in lock in focus up may god bless